Hey everybody, Chef Outdoors. Bill and I are here. We're at our favorite docks where we love to catch sheep said. We're going to sit here. We're going to set them up and see if we can't pull some out. Stay tuned because at the end we're going to do a nice catch, clean, and cook. We've already got a jack and a croaker and a couple more busts off. We're going to see what else we can't catch. We All go. right. We are hooked up to something nice. Oh, yeah. Nice fish. That's awesome there. See, we got out of the wind. We got near some good structure with some good bait, and we got some good fish. Boy, that's going to make a heck of a dinner later. Look at that. Heck yeah, look at that one. We were looking for those. <laughs> look at that stud muffin there. Woo, look at that. Oh, nice. That's great. Man, we're going to have four definite catch, clean, and cooks this week. Yeah, look at that. Oh wow. So Bill has uh, decided to catch a fish. Oh, nice sheep's head. Nice. No, look, Bill got a nice sheep's head. All right, that's good. Third one of the day there. We got some all kinds of good stuff. We'll have to do some good catch cleaning cooks later. Hey y'all, so we got this beautiful sheep's head we're gonna fillet up here. Stay tuned, we're gonna knock this out and we're gonna do a great catch cleaning cook. Wait to the end to see what happens. We got some beautiful sheep's head and they're all filleted up. And what I'm gonna do is I feel like making some fish tacos. There's a few different ways I make fish tacos. Today we're gonna do like kind of authentic, but more American. So what it's gonna be, it's gonna be a tortilla de masa, corn tortilla. Um, we're gonna serve it with a salsa verde. Um, it also have, we got, let's see what we got over here. Come on down if you see it way over here. What do we got? We got some chopped red cabbage, col roja, that's more of a purple. We got tomatoes, cilantro, avocado, um, and some shredded lettuce and some carrots and salsa guaca verde, <laughs> which is not a real thing. That's just something I've made up. Some salsa verde, which is very real. That's something we use all the time. And our fresh lemon wedge is limon verde. And then we have this cheese. So we have a queso catija cheese, a Mexican crumble cheese that goes on top of the tortillas. And uh, let's start putting this together. So we got some oil hot, we got some fish going. I'm slicing it up. So let's finish doing that right now. I'll show you what we're doing. So all we're doing is getting a piece of sheep's head. All right, just pulling it out here. We got our Danco knife, we're getting our sheep's head. Danco, <laughs> I love their stuff. Anyway, so we got our Danco knife and all we're doing is we're just cleaning up the sheep's head. I don't want any bloodline because you know what? I don't like fishy fish and bloodline makes it taste fishy. And we're making taco sized pieces. All right, very nice. So we're getting our taco sized pieces. I'm just gonna go ahead and slice them up real quick. And that is it. And we are gonna mix the fish around with a little egg and some salt and pepper and seasonings. And then I'm gonna dust it with a little bit of flour and fry it. And it's gonna be super simple. So stay tuned, watch out what we're doing here and leave a comment on what you think. All right, so we got our fish. We're gonna throw a little black pepper on top because I like black pepper. Always season your flour because well, you want it to taste like something. We're gonna throw a little garlic on the fish, a little garlic in the flour, a little salt on the fish. A little salt in the flour. All right, and then I'm just gonna get in here and kind of mix it up with this egg. Look, ew, all right, we're just gonna mix it all together. And this is not a correct breading procedure by any means. It's something quick and fast and easy. And I like it, so <laughs> that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna take that and we're gonna put it in here. Try to get some of the egg off so it doesn't turn into one big hunk of crap. And we just kind of mix it together. We're just gonna dust it just like that. And you know, you could do this grilled, baked, you can do whatever you want. I just, I like it this way, that's why I'm doing it. I'm not eating, I mean, I'm eating it, you're not, so <laughs> make it how you wanna make it. So now that I've made this fabulous mess here, let's go ahead and put it in the fryer. All right, you see my grease right there? We are going in. 
It's gonna fry pretty quick, small pieces. We just wanna get them good and crispy, drain the oil off, and then we're gonna put these tortillas together. A tortilla de mesa, it's corn tortilla, salsa verde, salsa, salsa guaca verde, that's my own made up stuff I showed you before. I got my spider, a spider? No, it's not a spider. That's what we call it, because it looks like a web. It's a skimmer, whatever you wanna call it. Fry, getter, outer, thingy. I got a little drain pan right here. You see it? We're just gonna put our fried food in here, let the grease drain off it. I don't necessarily like to always soak up paper towels, so I'll do this first before I do the paper towel. And then while that's going on, we're gonna heat up our skillet. And you're like, why? We're already cooking the fish. Well, because I didn't make tortillas today, I bought them. All right, I got some uh, tortilla de mesa from a tortilla locally. All right, and what that is, is it's a fresh corn tortilla. But I really like to put a little extra crisp on them in the pan. What's even better is if you have a grill or if you have an open flame, it's, it's amazing. So We're gonna get that pan hot so we can crisp them up a little bit. Let this fish cook up. Looks amazing already, look at it. Oh my goodness. Can you see the sizzle? Check it out. We're gonna go down and check this out right here. So look at it go. Oh man, almost there. Oh, so the fish is almost done. What I wanna do is start warming up some of these tortillas. So, you know, there's, it's just a corn tortilla. They're kind of thin when they're machine made. Um, so I, I like to crisp them up a little bit. And um, I also like to um, sometimes use two and double them up so they don't break while you're eating them. But much better than a flour tortilla. Not that they don't always have a little flour in them. Usually it's like a two to one. So if there's two cups of masa, a lot of times they'll put a half a cup or a cup of um, flour in it. All right, well this fish is definitely done. I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna let it drain, okay? Let's just get the, the grease off it. We don't need no stinking grease. And then what we got is, you know what I love to do when I have the grease hot with the tortillas, is I love to fry some tortillas. And what I do is I take some of the tortillas and I cut them like a pizza, okay? Just grab them and cut them in quarters, kind of. And then you fry these up, and they are just amazing alone. They're so good. All right, so let's move them around a little bit. Oh, that's getting good and hot now, too. Put the grease nice and hot. I love these. These are so good. Just move it around, make sure the grease gets in them so that they fry independently. Man, this is way better than any nacho you're gonna buy at the store. Way sturdier, too. You can eat stuff. That's how they make like a tostada also. You know, well, they'll fry the whole tortilla. All right, so let's let these cook up a minute. The fish is all good. Look at that, that looks awesome. This tortilla, number one. It's nice and warm and crispy. I'm gonna throw the next one in. Oh, I forgot a chip. I'm gonna let these get a little crispier. I want them a little browner. And we'll just throw some salt on them, and they are amazing. So it depends how crispy you want it. I mean, that's pretty, pretty, pretty hard right there. If I'm on a fire or something, um, it's even better. It really is. It's really good. Let's see if I can find another colander or something. There we go. Look at that. We got our fish colander. And we got our chip colander. <laughs> you know, I'll even put just a little lime and salt and man, even some hot sauce or something just on these. Or whatever. They're so stinking good. All right, y'all. So these chips. Pretty much done. We don't, we're not having a whole bunch of people. It's just the wife and I. Let's just scoop these out. We're gonna salt right away so they hold some salt on them. They're good to go. We got our tortilla. See, it's a little, woo, a little more crispy on that one. See, you got some of the brown marks on there. All right. So everybody needs a lime, limon verde, right here. Okay. Because that's just how it is. All right. Everybody likes a little avocado. So we got this beautiful avocado. We're going to take a couple slices. And look at that. It looks pretty. Put it by our lime. Get a couple more. Awesome. All right. We're going to get our tortillas. My corn tortillas. Tortilla de masa. Which I love. All right, and then we're gonna get our fish. 
excuse our hands because you know we can do that so check it out nice okay one more two for me and two for the wife all right so i don't have a taco holder of some kind except for me so they're gonna kind of lay a little and that's all right Let's see if we can get them to go where i want them to a little bit so i'm gonna start with just a hair of lettuce we don't they don't use a whole lot of lettuce just a little bit for some texture okay we got a little bit of lettuce not my favorite thing to put on here and then we are gonna go I'm gonna go with a little cilantro a little cilantro because cilantro is awesome if you haven't tried it you need to some coal it's cabbage a little cabbage and what the stuff does is that flavors and textures and color it looks very vibrant. And then we got a little tomato. Nice. Looks beautiful. Looks like a fiesta right on the plate, doesn't it? I mean, my goodness. I love tacos. Half of my body mass is made up of tacos. So, anyhow, <laughs> I'm just going to throw a couple carrots on for color and texture. Not that they're that necessary. But we're here why not if i can drop some stuff on the floor for ruby our dog she'll be super happy with me all right so where are we at i think we're to the avocado so i'm gonna take some avocado here okay all right and last but not least we're gonna do the Spanish cheese, crumbly cheese for your tacos, amongst other things, but I love it. It doesn't have a whole lot of flavor, but it's, it's got a good flavor. Put it on there, okay. Salsa verde and our guaca salsa verde, salsa guaca verde, whatever you want to call it. I love it, so there you go. Hey y'all, so this was awesome. We got to go out, we caught the sheep's head. Got some amazing sheep's head, Bill and I. Got home, I decided we we're gonna do some nice fish tacos. We make sheep's head fish tacos. Uh, we used the tortillas de mesa. We got the little tostadas de nachos we made. We had the salsa verde, the guaca salsa verde that we made up, awesome. Uh, we toasted off the corn tortillas, which made it really nice. Uh, we got the Spanish crumble cheese, some cilantro, tomatoes, lettuce, some coal, uh, cabbage, and uh, we're ready to roll. So I just wanted to check it out and make it a little more even more authentic next time, but this is a nice hybrid version and it got good flavor. So let's give this a shot, huh? Yeah, I put a little, little salsa there, day. It's hot though. Okay. So tomatillos, jalapenos, and cilantro. I'm super excited because I love tacos. <laughs> yeah, I know so, you too. Should I have some of that too? Yeah, I'm helping out here. Hold on. Here. There we go. Okay. They might be a little messy. You're gonna have to fold them up a little bit. Napkin would have been a good addition yeah, that's to this. Right. Roll like this. Oh, don't forget the lime. Hold on, lime. Gotta put lime. Put lime on. Oh, I got it all over the table. Awesome. You can put it on the chips too. I love lime on the chips. <laughs> Dude, it's good. Those chips are good just how they are. You don't even really need much. Plus, we got this walk over here we made. Thank you. Awesome. We lost an avocado over here. Gotta kind of roll it together. See that? Mmm. Ooh. Good. Very good. Definitely not good, but I love the cabbage. Okay. Is that back in there? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You gotta practice your taco holding skills. Mm-hmm. Some spice. It's good. Mm-hmm. Very good. I like these tortillas. Yeah, they're so yummy. Mm-hmm. Way better than flour tortillas. If you haven't tried corn tortillas, you got to. And you know, they're always good when you warm them up or toast them up. Like a pan like I showed you, way better. Over an open flame, even on a grill. Like you make fajitas with them on the grill, awesome. So, you take the tortilla, <clears throat> cut it and fry it. So yummy. Right, I'll, try mm -hmm. I'll put lime on. Put a little bit of salsa guacamole, some pico de gallo. 
They're good just like that. Mm -hmm, they are good just like that. Mm -hmm. I'll try some of this, whatever this is. So what that is, it's like guacamole fresh made, blended with a salsa verde. Hey y'all, so anyway, these fish tacos were amazing. We gotta clean this mess up. Thanks for joining, subscribe, hit the little notification bell in the corner. All right, like and share it with your friends, family, cousins, uncles, roommates, whoever you want to. All right, thanks so much. Um, message me what you wanna cook next, uh, what adventure you need to see, and let me know what you think, all right? You'll take it easy, catch you later. Thank you.